Hey, we took a two week trip to the Eastern Sierras in our new A-Liner LXE pop-up camper. Um, this is video one of two videos. We're gonna talk about boondocking slash dry camping slash dispersed camping, um, down some dirt roads, remote camping, no hookups, which is what we like. We're gonna talk about the gear that we bought to outfit the trailer and some of the modifications that we made to make it more comfortable for us and then some of the things we'd like to improve for future trips. And we're also going to talk about camping in the cold. This is our first boondocking trip to the Eastern Sierras with our new A-Liner. And this is the road we brought it up. We have four-wheel drive forerunner, which kind of helped us get up this road, I'm, I think, unless you know, we're still learning about that too, so we're not sure. Maybe we could have gotten up here with less, but here's the, the road into the camp. North of Bishop, that's all I'll say for now. G solar panel um, with a long cable. <laughs> Maybe not the greatest thing, but um, it seems to be recharging the battery. So we've had, you know, pretty good sun and it's been on for, I mean, at least four hours a day. It seems to recharge the battery for us. Here's the campsite. Nobody around. We haven't heard any cars go by or uh, no one's come up this road in the two nights we've slept here. It's the LXE. It's got the little bathroom on the right in a cabinet, and then it, on the left we made a king-size bed, and I'll show you how we did that later. It's very helpful to have this table out here. Um, there's really very little um, counter space, storage space inside the A-liner, so whenever we have stuff that we're not worried about bears getting into, we just um, put it out here even temporarily it just helps a lot because we have our computers and you know toilet kits suitcases everything um, going back and forth so that's been really really helpful got that on Amazon and then this little step stool has been fantastic too that doesn't seem to ever wobble it folds up in terms of leveling we just have those you know those Lynx leveler blocks and on the other side of the trailer we just dug a little ditch to lower the other wheel the front one time we needed some blocks but now we're learning to try to head the trailer slightly uphill. Um, now these things from Lowe's, these food grade uh, containers have been fantastic. They have airtight um, lids on them that snap down and uh, had one crack but basically they, these haven't cracked yet and we cannot smell the coffee when we're in the car. That's something that kind of bothers us so um, it's really nice to not be smelling coffee all the way down the highway. Uh, we brought a bunch of extra water because, number one, here at the end of September, it's been one night it was down into 27 degrees, <laughs> and we got worried about, we were worried about using our, um, the t tanks in the trailer, and we didn't want to load them up with antifreeze right now, so we just drained everything. We have antifreeze in the um, cassette toilet, but other than that, we're not using the water system. Um, and they got these at Pet Boys. They're... Um, I think they're BPA free and they're five gallons a piece. And then we just uh, refill a little five gallon water carrier inside the trailer. Another essential for us is this folding chair. And, you know, it's just one of those $20 chairs. Um, I think we got it at Home Depot. It's kind of heavy, but basically it's pretty sturdy and you can set it down almost anywhere and sit and have your morning coffee or work on your phone. Um, just fantastic. We love that. In fact, next time we'll probably bring two of them. This is our gray water line draining here at the campground. I just want to mention that we are not putting any food down the sink. It's just biodegradable soap and water, hand washing and, um, you know, maybe a little coffee, <laughs> but nothing, no food is going down the drain. And um, even though it got down to 27 and there was an icicle hanging off the drain, it's still you know, was flowing fine. We didn't have any big issues with using the drain so far. Um, but right now, during the day, it's it's a really nice temperature. I'd say it's, you know, maybe in the 60s or 50s. We're at 7,400 feet here, elevation. I just want to comment on this ZAMP. 
business here. You know, I don't quite understand. You know, we're still learning about solar, but if you want to use Renogy with a ZAMP connector, you have to do a lot of work to try to find the right, the way to reverse the positive and negative wires to get it all working, because ZAMP puts theirs in uh, the opposite of Renogy. Um, so we're still searching for a really good connector because the one we bought on Amazon just broke immediately. The other thing about the ZAMP problem is, you know, you just, it's really a weak uh, connection and so you have to hang your cable on something or else it's just going to fall right. The other problem with draining your gray water here is that the wasps just love it. And so my husband put out a bowl of soapy water, it seems to attract a few of them. Um, but they love water and they also really love shiny things. Um, see the one's going up the drain now. Make sure we don't take the drain <laughs> cover off inside the trailer. Um, they love shiny things. In fact, we were barbecuing last night with a shiny bowl on the table and they were going mostly for that. So once we covered it up with a cloth, the problem kind of diminished a little bit. Here's our Renogy 100 watt solar suitcase panel. Um, Sometimes we're concerned about someone stealing it, so we put a cable lock through that handle right there. It has a uh, just a basic, you know, charge controller on the back. I never appreciated how important the charge controller really is until we started learning about solar. I think at some point we'll probably try to um, get two panels going and get a new, a better charge controller going. It's been incredibly beautiful here and peaceful. Haven't heard any anyone else outside of airplanes. Um, in fact, it's been a little too quiet for me <laughs> at night. There's no sound of a mountain stream, no crickets. So I had to kind of play my little mountain stream recording while I was trying to sleep. You who don't want to talk about bathroom issues, you can skip this part of the video, but I just wanted to make a plug for this uh, portable toilet we found on Amazon and it comes with a view and we just use the kitchen bags and the nice this is our first time trying this ever and the reason we are doing it is that even though the trailer has a Thetford cassette toilet uh, we don't want to have to clean it out all that often and also yeah just especially for um, going number two we wanted to just be able to throw it away um, in the trash and not have it sloshing around in the trailer when we're on dirt roads. So we bought this on Amazon um, <clears throat> and it's been fantastic. Um, it basically doesn't smell that much. We just put a little powdery dirt on top after we're done using it and we can't believe how little it really does smell. We bought these recliners at Camping World. Um, so far, uh, you know, they are very comfortable. Um, we've really enjoyed using them one time for stargazing. It was fantastic. The rest of the time, I'm not so sure if we really need these. They are super heavy and big um, for our setup. Um, we'll, we'll see, we'll keep trying to find a place where we can really use them. I mean, some of the time sitting outside, frankly, there are a lot of wasps and then the wind comes up and it gets cold or something so I'm not sure we're still these are still um, we're not decided about them. Uh, the A-liner came with these two uh, 20 pound propane tanks and just wanted to mention that after a week being out using them not refilling them we're still I think we were down to the quarter a quarter of a tank on the first tank which is amazing. We've had the refrigerator going the whole time. It's a three-way Dometic refrigerator that came with the trailer. Um, we did turn on the heater a couple times just to see what it was like and decided that it was just, you know, too much electricity use and we had plenty of, you know, our, our approach was to have lots of huge sleeping bags and um, we got our dog a little electric heater pad. So, um, we haven't been using it for heat, but we've been using it for cooking and the uh, refrigerator. No water heater because the water heater has been drained. We're breaking camp to see if we can find some more wonderful spots.